Hi, in this video we're going to look at using plugins in Figma. So going back to our homepage on Figma, you can go to explore the community here and then you can go to plugins here or if I go back a level and if I go into say we're in a design file and if I go to file and there we go, plugins. And then we can manage our existing plugins or browse the plugins in the community. So if you click there, that also takes you to the same place. Okay, so now we're in the plugin section of the community. Um, we've got various different plugins uh, down here, but I guess depending on what you're looking for, you can just go into the search. So I'm gonna look for Laura Mipson generator so you can see this top one's come up here and yeah it's got quite a few installs so if i click on it just here and yeah it gives you a little bit of information about it. it tells you what it can do as well which is quite cool and nice okay so if we click on install you can see that it's installed super quick if I go back to my other tab, so we're in my design file. So because I downloaded a Laura Mipsum plugin, it's gonna be text related. So if I go to the text tool, let's drag out some text. Uh, let me go to plugins now, click on Laura Mipsum, and there we go. So now I can control in a plugin. Cool, so how many paragraphs I have, how many sentences, the maximum sentence length. And this is really the benefit of plugins. It does the heavier lifting for you. So it's making it easy um, and generating the paragraphs for me so I don't have to type them out, which is super cool. So nice. Well, that's in summary how you install a plugin. Um, I'd encourage you to go to the community, go to the plugin section and just have a look under here um, at some of the other plugins. I mean, we can have a look at this one here quickly as well. So Unsplash, let's install that one as well. So if I go back to my design file, Unsplash is it's gonna be related to pictures. So let's see if I go to plugins again, Unsplash, and now it's given me, so I've clicked on my rectangle that I've drawn out there, and now it's given me, uh, Let's see, oh, it's giving me a search here as well. That's quite cool. So let's select on technology. And if I click on the image, nice. It places it inside the rectangle for me. So this just really speeds up our workflow. So if you're looking for certain images and you wanted to fill out your UI with certain things, I definitely encourage you to check out plugins. Um, and this one's quite handy. So I'm gonna leave it installed. Cool. Um, well, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.